Wanda, hmm. is there something special about today? Well, I know the apron is a bit much, dear, but I am doing my best to blend in. No, no, there on the calendar, someone's drawn a little heart right above today's date. Oh, yes, the heart. Hmm. Well, don't tell me you have forgotten, Viz. Forgotten? Oh, Wanda, I'm incapable of forgetfulness. I remember everything. That's not an exaggeration. In fact, I'm incapable of exaggeration. Well, then tell me what's so important about today's date. <laughs> What was the question again? <laughs> oh, well, perhaps you've forgotten yourself. Yeah, you haven't, no. I've been so looking forward to it. As have I. Today, we are celebrating. You bet we are. It's the first time we mm -hmm. have ever celebrated this occasion before. It's a special day. Perhaps an evening. Of great significance. To us both. Naturally. Obviously. Exactly. <laughs> well done, us. Marvel Studios' first original series arrives on Disney+. Plus. Wanda and Vision, we are in uncharted waters. We just don't know what to expect. Westview is our home now. I want us to fit in. We shall. Wanda, have you gotten bigger? Life moves pretty fast out in the suburbs. Now the Avengers. Are you here to help us? Why would you think that? <laughs> Who are you? I don't know. I think something's wrong here. This is our home. Then let's fight for it. Marvel Studios' WandaVision, an original series streaming Friday exclusively on Disney+. Plus. Welcome back, everyone. This is going to be my new Marvel WandaVision Episode 1 video. They just released a bunch of new scenes. Obviously, we'll break this down, but they also were talking about what's going on with the later episodes and some of the other Marvel Disney Plus series, so I'll explain that during the video. I'll be doing videos for all the episodes starting this Friday. We're getting the first two episodes on Friday as well. But after that, it will be weekly episodes through episode nine. There are nine episodes total in WandaVision. So if you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe to get all the videos. And I will keep doing the Disney Plus membership giveaway as we go along. All you have to do to enter that is just be a subscriber and leave your favorite WandaVision Easter eggs you've seen so far on the video. Speaking of which, you probably notice this very Deadpool moment here where Scarlet Witch turns to the camera and addresses the audience, breaking the fourth wall. So it sounds like she's going to be doing that very Deadpool thing, breaking the fourth wall during the series as well. But obviously this opening scene here is just the I Love Lucy joke about them both forgetting why they're so hyped up about the August 23rd date. The heart on the date represents exactly what you think it does. They kind of imply that during this scene here, even though it's them just playing up the comedy of this moment, like neither one of us actually remembers what's going on here. We're doing something very special for the very first time. The series obviously is parodying sitcoms of the 1950s in this particular episode, along with a little bit of Bewitch, which is 1960s, just because of the way she uses her powers and the way they visualize that. But unlike sitcoms of that actual period, the WandaVision episodes, like you would expect, continue the plot from one episode to the next in serialized story fashion. So they actually do pay off this quote-unquote special date later on. You actually see that unfold. Like in the other trailer footage, you see them talk about being married but not having rings or having a song or an anniversary. Then you see them in the 1960s, Bewitched and Dick Van Dyke episode scene in the beds. Then she uses her powers to combine them so they can finally get it on and make them some X-Men babies. So there's a lot of setup and payoff with the jokes that they have in these first couple of episodes. Vision's dialogue here at the end, if you couldn't make out what he says there right at the end, he says, well done us, like he's congratulating both of them for being so awesome, despite the fact that neither one of them can remember what they're supposed to be doing for the first time. Wink, wink. The footage is a little too grainy and it's not 4K, so it's kind of hard to read a lot of the labels on the products and the things in the background too, but you have to remember that a lot of this is very carefully designed, so a lot of the logos and a lot of the names of things are also MCU Easter eggs. The name of the newspaper is the Westview Herald because that's the name of the town that they live in, Westview, this sort of fictional Twilight Zone alternate reality where she lives kind of like a god. She can kind of do whatever she wants here, create anything that she wants. But because this is meant to be the 1950s in this particular scene, you see a very 1950s sounding headline here. Little Baby June's first word tickles Mother Sue. So as you probably guessed, all these references to babies, the heart, the date on the calendar, this special anniversary that they've marked for themselves, and then them in the beds later is all about them and their children. 
getting it on so that they can actually have some children. And if you read the Tom King vision run, a lot of you actually asked me in earlier videos to point out the Tom King references, because obviously that's mostly about vision creating a family for himself. But also Tom King wrote a story very much like this where vision and Scarlet Witch get it on. And of course, as you would expect, things totally, totally get weird. I do love the way that they work a lot of the MCU humor and references to present day stuff. Like it's very anachronistic. Vision says, you know, I'm actually capable in forgetting because he's an android. Then another very I love Lucy joke. That's not an exaggeration because I'm also incapable of exaggeration. Even though technically that's not true. He can lie as much as he wants to. It's just that this Twilight Zone alternate reality version of him, Vision, that Scarlet Witch creates is meant to be exactly like she remembered him or as she wanted him to be. And he was always capable of lying, forms of deceit, telling jokes even, but it was a very data like Star Trek spin on him doing those things. Like he was learning to do those things, emulate more human personality traits. When you rewatch that scene from Avengers Infinity War, right before the Black Order comes to take the Mind Stone from him, he actually seems very, very human the way Paul Bettany is performing him. And he's used his powers to make himself look like a full blown human, like actual real life Paul Bettany. For those of you also asking about the Mind Stone too, like is it back because she creates a brand new Infinity Stone? How does that work? So the reason why this version of Vision inside this reality has the Mind Stone is because Scarlet Witch can create anything inside this alternate reality. The real test though, I think is gonna be whether or not when they start to blend realities, this one aspects of it with the main MCU reality in the last couple of episodes, if Vision will still be able to have the Mind Stone and if it will still have its full power of a regular Infinity Stone because that is the most OP power that you could ever have. The ability to effectively create new Infinity Stones in alternate realities and then bring them whole into the main MCU reality. If you're not a big comic book reader, they actually have rules about how that works in the comics that prevent people from doing things like that. So even if this version of Vision from this reality is able to come back to the main MCU reality whole and still be himself with the Mind Stone in his forehead, it won't have the true Infinity Stone level powers. It'll be severely limited or it won't have his cosmic level powers. It'll be more like the Sunstone comic book Vision has in his forehead. In the comics, Vision doesn't have an Infinity Stone in his forehead. It's just like a regular Sunstone that helps power him up. And normally in the comics, Infinity Stones from alternate realities or alternate universes of the multiverse don't work in other people's universes. They only work in the universe that they were created in. But then all the 1970s talk about them not knowing what to expect obviously is a reference to the twin X-Men children because at this point it's after the scene where he's like, Wanda, you've gotten bigger because she is super pregnant. I know you all want to see what Billy and Tommy, Wiccan and Speed are going to look like. They've been very careful to omit all footage of them when they're older. But obviously, as you go through the decades of television, they age up. That's why they're going through the decades of sitcoms, so they can age the children up to teenagers by the end of the series. There are Easter eggs for everything in the background here with set design too. You notice in the background of the 1970s, the highlight colors around the background here are the colors of the Infinity Stones, and a lot of the patterns are references to either MCU things or things specific to Scarlet Witch and Vision. Like when they're in this 80s, 90s scene here, like the full house looking scene of them holding the babies, you see this blue star over here. Remember, the Mind Stone was encased in a blue gemstone when it was being used in Loki's scepter. We also get to see that really cool upgraded version of Vision using his Mind Stone powers to alter his appearance back to his true self. Like the minute that Agnes here, which is her name on the TV show, even though I think we all believe that she's playing a version of Agatha Harkness, she references the Avengers and starts making fun of him for being dead and it looks like he just automatically transforms back into his regular self and then floats into the sky. But she's dressed like the Wicked Witch of the West because this is all meant to be the Halloween part of the episode where he's walking around in the Halloween version of his comic book costume. They did tune up their Avengers costumes a little bit too because you also see Scarlet Witch wearing a slightly tuned up version of her modern day Avengers costume in the later footage from the more modern parts of the episodes where it looks like they're actually having a full blown battle against the sword agents. And speaking of comic book costumes, if you haven't been watching a lot of the social media posts that they've been doing on all the Marvel accounts, they've actually been releasing posters for all the characters and some of the Monica Rambeau posters have her in versions of her comic book Photon costume. It's hard to tell which era this takes place during, but this card kind of makes it seem like this is the modern day version of her sword uniform. And really cool Easter egg too that we found out from some of the logos and the tie-in materials. 
The actual acronym for sword means something different in the MCU than it does in the comics. So on the TV show, apparently it means Sentient Weapon Observation Research Division. So Vision, for instance, is a sentient weapon. Scarlet Witch is a sentient weapon. So it seems like in the MCU, the whole reason Nick Fury creates the sword agency is to keep an eye on superpowered individuals or artificial intelligences like Vision. They haven't actually confirmed Nick Fury cameo during this, but they did say that obviously WandaVision is going to connect to Spider-Man 3, of all things, which I thought was a big surprise, but Doctor Strange 2, Multiverse of Madness. Even Elizabeth Olsen was talking about working with Sam Raimi and how that was different. She didn't give away any huge spoilers, but there will be Easter eggs for Doctor Strange 2 stuff in setup, teasers, things that happen during WandaVision, so I'll just point those out during the episodes when they actually happen. But my WandaVision Episode 1 and Episode 2 video will post Friday just like normal, so make sure you have alerts enabled for my channel so you don't miss any of that stuff. If you have any big questions or requests during my episode videos, just let me know in the comments as well. Congratulations Lance Wright, you're the giveaway winner from my last big Marvel video. Please email me on the about page of my channel so I can get your contact details. Everyone click here for that new Marvel Loki trailer video, and click here for that other really big WandaVision Episode 1 scene. Thank you so much for watching, everyone stay safe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.